Would you prefer money or, or love? How much money? It's a serious question. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I increase the intensity of your intro. But I'm annoying. Okay. Get up, let me get up in here. All right, so what are we doing today? Tell them what we're doing today. We're gonna be doing a this or that. This or that? I thought it was would you rather. It's this or that. It's kind of like would you rather, but it's actually like this or that. Like, do you prefer this or do you prefer that? Are you trying to get with this? Or are you trying to get with that? That's my song. But it was my line. I just said it. Okay, guys. Anyways, stay tuned. All right, so follow me up to the office. All right, so we are back. We are upstairs in the little office room. We are about to get this game done. Are you starting it or am I starting it? All right, I'm jumping into it. All right, so on this week's episode Wait, wait, wait. Of we just had a full discussion of who's going to go first. He said me, and this is how it goes. This is, okay, continue. Go ahead, babe. It's my game. It's actually my game. It's this or that. It's our game. It's, it's you need to get better that. at that. You need to get better at that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right, so this or that. AKA, would you rather? Would you rather a phone call or text message? Definitely a phone call. Phone call? Definitely a phone call. Would you text me all day long? But You're you the kind of person that sends like six texts per one. Yeah, because you don't answer any of them. Next question. <laughs> okay, would you rather listen to music or listen to a podcast? Uh, it depends on the situation. I would much rather listen to a podcast. Like so. I said, uh, much rather <laughs> listen to a podcast. What's your favorite podcast? My favorite podcast. That's don't don't go home. Don't go in debt. All right, I'm There's, not gonna yeah. talk about that. We'll do that for another episode because I'll go in depth. <laughs> All right. So, big party or small gatherings? I like big parties, but I prefer a small gathering. Just because okay. I don't know how to act. So if it's a small gathering, it's gonna be like close people. You know what I'm saying? More intimate. Yeah. Okay. What's the next question on here? Oh, this, would you rather have new clothes or a new cell phone? Neither. Food. Oh, um, new clothes or a new phone. I mean, you just bought me new clothes, so I guess I'm set on new clothes for at least five to ten years. Um, okay. New phone. I got two phones and they both work just fine, so I don't need a new phone, so I'll take the cash money. That's not cash. It's either clothes or it's a new phone. Clothes, then. Really? Yeah. What? Well, I just want to put it out there that since we've gotten together, he now no longer has to wear the same shorts or the same shirt every three days. But I still do. He doesn't. He wears the same three new ones now. Um, would you rather be the passenger or the driver? The passenger, 1000%. I hate driving. All right, I want another question. <laughs> would you rather have a nice car or a nice home? Nice home. Nice home? Nice home. Really? I would love to have, like, just Are you calling nice... my home? What about? Did you just said I would love to have a nice no, home? No, no, no. You call my house not nice? That's that's fucked hey, up. This is a nice house. This is an our house. I respect when it. we get a house, it's just gonna be lovely. Just gonna be like it's, it's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be a home. It's gonna be expensive. Not the house, but like putting the house together and making it beautiful. Just be prepared. So she's going down to Richmond to the Paper Moon on Fridays and Saturdays. Check her out. You're terrible. All right. Okay, are you a morning person or a night person? I'm both. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning, fist pump, ready to party. Go to sleep at 3 a.m., fist pumping, ready to party. I guess I'm really not an afternoon person. That's when I want to take a nap all the time. Yeah. I in the middle of the day, I just want to take a random nap. But at night, I'm good. In the morning, even more good. You just are bad because you don't wake up from your naps. I just don't want to wake up in general. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is a good one because you could go back and forth. So, would you rather tea or coffee? Um, probably coffee in the morning, tea in the evening. Like tea before bed, but coffee like when I wake up. Unless I'm sick, then I definitely prefer tea. Okay. I'm he tea, only drinks tea, tea all the way. Tea all the way. Extra sugar. Diabetes. Next week, please. All right. All right. Talking pets or talking babies? A talking pet for 1, sure. One thousand percent. For sure, bro. Like, <laughs> if I could have Roxy for like 
Roxy. For, just listen, 14 to 18 years of uh, talking Roxy, my life would be set, complete. I probably wouldn't even want kids. But look, if I had to deal with Carson <laughs> from zero to three years old speaking perfect English, now I would fight him. And babies, okay. babies just because babies but can talk, like, don't mean they, they're let's smart. Let's compare like Carson talking versus like listen, having to listen to Sully talk. Which one would you prefer? Both crackheads. Which Both one would you prefer? Sully would. I would rather listen to Carson all day. Sully would gain more knowledge quicker, so his sentences would make more sense. <laughs> Carson would just be speaking gibberish. Like imagine Carson at one years old when he's like whining, punching. Oh, I guess he does that now. <laughs> oh, but just imagine that at one years old, no knowledge there, just just speaking, just speaking. Facts. Just speaking. Not even facts, just gibberish. He talks too much as it is. All right, so look. Would you rather be rich and famous or rich and unknown? Rich and famous. I was about to say, if you were here trying to say unknown, I was gonna Rich and it. famous, I think people like, it's like the people who get rich and famous, then they just wanna be rich and unknown, like once they're over the rich and famous, so rich and famous. The grass is always greener on the other side. I want everybody to know my name. The neighbors know my name. My mouth is dry. We got bad pollen here in Virginia, guys. Out here in Virginia. It's bad. All right, so next question, please. Um, would you prefer money or, or love? How much money? It's a serious question. All the money in the world. All the money in the world? Yep. Are you serious? Like, international debt included or just Everything. like- Everything. You oh, have all shit. the money in the world. I can have all of it, tax free? Or you can have the love of your life. Ooh. Ooh. This is a serious question. Money can't buy you freaking love and happiness. Are you? All right, cut the video. Are you serious? But it can buy me a boat. Are you... And a truck question. to pull it. Answer the question. Answer the question. It's like a million dollars? Oh yeah, love of my life for sure. Like 13 trillion? You're gonna die a sad... And go you know I'm out. <laughs> All right, guys. Thirteen we, trillion. So dollars. there will be no more videos following this video after this response. So just know that this. I is got the thirteen end of trillion dollars, bro. I'm this making is, plenty of videos. This is the end of our YouTube journey before it's even barely started. I barely started. I think it's going well. <laughs> you just have that so like that look on your face. I'm about to start twitching. You're yes. <laughs> about to start twitching. Money or love? Money or love. That's fine. It's just one answer. It's, it's solid. You either want money or you want love. Like right now in like three years. Just answer the question. Money, final answer. I'm just joking, babe. Love. I love you. You're terrible. Right. I was just joking. All right. This is a hard one. Okay. Would you rather save 100 strangers or one loved one? Just gonna go both ways. It's, it's not a both way question. Let me, you wanna hear my logic? No, I don't wanna hear your logic. I want you to answer the question. Who's the loved one? What if it's like, a, what if it's like a really like, like great, 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 great aunt that I didn't even know? Then they wouldn't be a loved one. A loved one could be like I'm picking your one best loved friend one. since third grade. I'm picking one loved one. Not You're so strangers. selfish. I don't know any of your loved ones solving the cure for cancer or fucking getting us to Mars. I mean, you can call me that so One out of one of those 100 people, they can get us to Mars. So, like, it would have to be, like, a situation. So, like, the situation would have to go like this. Like, one All right, if you were Spider-Man and there was a train full of people and you were had your spider web out like this and you had freaking, what's her name? Mary Jane with this spider web. Spider-Man's gonna save Mary Jane. All right, but you're not Spider-Man, so make your decision right now. Look, the train full of 100 random innocent I'm people. I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm picking one loved one. I would save you over 100 people. You're so cute. I appreciate you. I'm glad I didn't have that question. <laughs> you're terrible. All right, so we're gonna back up out of here. We're gonna go to the couple's questions. She's gonna load that up. I'm gonna run to the bathroom and Try he, not to get in to say in was he got him. business to handle with your nasty stuff. All right, guys. So he took a pee. I don't know actually if he took a pee. Did you take a pee? Why are you worried about it? Anyways, 
So the next set of questions is gonna be us as a couple. What would we prefer? What would we decide? We're gonna come to an agreement. Maybe, probably not, anyways. Wait, so is this like a five year plan or is this like our thought process right now? Like just moving forward in our lives. Like what do we want? Like, All right, so like tomorrow. Yeah. All right. On your mark, get set, let's get the ball moving, folks. All right, first one is, I mean, I'm going to read the first one. It says, we want cats or dogs. dogs. We have three crackhead dogs downstairs dogs. right now. So, okay. The next one is big family or small family? I think it's like in the middle. I mean, what, it, it, it depends on what you consider a big I family. I think a big family is like five kids. Okay, yeah, that's a little I want like... All right, I think we're set on us two, Carson, and then two more. Two more. That's Have it. like another boy and girl, or and two then girls. or that, two girls. and then yeah, Carson's a lot, <laughs> bro. A lot. Yeah, he's enough for like four. I boys. love Carson. Don't get he's me wrong. He's enough for like four boys. Um, all right, and then. Like, I would love to adopt, but like way later in the future. Like when I have my farm, so I can have my like cattle outside. I can have like my little foster kids running around with the cattle. Like, I don't know who's that's running a different the farm, because it ain't me. You said you want to water, right? Watering and farm. Oh, yeah, together. that's right. Yeah, you guys, well, like, hey, hey, you hey, adopt. There, that's why there's a woman and a man. Because you, I have the vision. You have the plan. I have the vision. I can look at something and say, this is what it's going to look like. You can't do that just yet. Yes, I can. You can't do Anyways, that. Anyways, you want to adopt. I'd rather just like be like a host family and have like people from like different countries come yeah, to live with us for too. a year. We can do that too. You want to be like Gam Gam so bad. I love Gam Gam, mom. shout out to you. I'm so glad and thankful you've had such a great impact on this <laughs> child's life. But she wants to be just like me. I, I like, am just literally. like her. I wouldn't say yet. Like, yes, I am. I just don't know how to make that, blankets and that, pillows. That young lady ain't got a mean bone in her body, girl. You you got about three mean bones about every week or so. You're which lucky. actually is a good ratio. If you think about it, three attitudes in a week, that's not a bad ratio. Yeah, but when I have the attitude, the world is ending. It is. It's <laughs> like when I have a science of fiction, bro. It's gosh. All right. Anyways. All right. So, so uh, I think is, we picked a small family on that one. I think it's like in reference to like if we ever get married one day. <laughs> Would you want to plan it out or do you want to wing it? She thinks about marriage. I'm thinking about like a Mexican vacation, like going to Mexico or going, like a, a trip. To, I like, have Italy. a five-year plan. Italian, I mean, like Italy. have a five-year plan. Either way, you're gonna have the same answer no matter what. You're gonna say plan it out. He's a planner. Plans everything out. There has to be a Monday through Sunday schedule. There has to be times on the schedule on a Sunday. Who has a schedule on a Sunday? Ain't a lot going on in life. People, people do what they want to do. I make time for the things that I want to do. So you always have time in that schedule, right or wrong. Yeah. Okay then. Thank Anyways, you. I like to plan a lot out, but I like to wing stuff too. All right. Next question. It's adventures. All right, so would you rather a night out or a night in? And this is as a couple. So, like, we both like to rage. We both like to party. Yeah. We both really like to party, but then again, we both really like to just <laughs> lay on lay the, on the couch. ottoman. Like, we, our couch, if you haven't seen it, it's a huge couch. Ottoman is just as big as a couch. We make just, like, a big-ass pallet. Lay out some blankets, lay out some pillows, and it's, it's like its own, like, and it's weird too because when we decide like we're gonna go out versus stay in, like there's never an argument like, oh, you want to go out, but I want to stay in. It's like we're always like, we're not. We hold both want to go hold out, on. we both want to stay in. Let's get this right. Let's clear this up for the people, the ones that are like brand new to the channel. So, I think there was a vlog months ago where we went out for lunch, lunch, people, lunch. Went out for lunch on Halloween day, lunch. I got home at 2 o'clock in the morning, then had to drive to Richmond, or past Richmond, to Fort Lee at 5 o'clock in the morning. You remember that? And that was one of those days we just went out for lunch, turned out to a full-on party fest. I think this was Lenny's fault. Yeah, it was you. No, it was you and Lenny's fault. Um, Lenny asked us to go out to lunch, and then you Shout out to you, Lenny. Going. And then, long story short, we were the only people in downtown Fredericksburg without Halloween costumes. <laughs> and I think we had probably the most fun. Top five. It was crazy. It was it was eventful. It was my fault. Next question. Do we want to go on a coffee date or a cocktail date? Cocktails. Yeah, we've never been on a coffee date. That we just like weird. we like Red Bull vodkas and margaritas from El Patron. All right, so look, I'm a big firm believer in the mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. Take that for how you want it, boys. All right, do we want to go to a concert 
or a sports game? Concert. What's my answer? Concert. What's your answer? Concert. I guess our answer is concert because it don't matter to me either way. I mean, like I like sports, but like not super into sports. You're not either, like that. You can put me in a cardboard box. I'm still gonna have a party. All right, here we go. Are we calling each other or are we texting each other? We text 24/7, unless it's something like urgent or. Or you don't wake up from your nap. Or when I don't wake up from my nap and I'm two hours late from clocking in from lunch break. Yep. Yeah, guys. That's a good one. That happened today, actually. All right. Shout out to Geico. Please don't watch this vlog. Split the bill, or do we take turns paying? We always take turns paying. We don't split the bill. And what form of reference is taking turns paying? Taking turns paying, like sometimes you'll pay, sometimes I'll pay. Not like really? one, 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 one. It's just like I'll pick up the check sometimes, and then you pick up the check sometimes. Just whatever. Really? Way it goes. Is that how it goes? I think, it's, I think it's closer to like a one to thirteen ratio. Whatever. One, I think it's a one to thirteen ratio. Okay, who takes who shopping? You do take me shopping. Yeah. But like, I just want to let you know, like, just because, like, I'm a numbers person. I bought. But hold on, the two times you have taken me shopping is equivalent to the one time in the last month that I've taken you to a winery. He's a real man, and he picks up the bill. I'm not gonna fight you for it. I'm gonna start fighting. <laughs> I'm gonna start fighting. I'm not gonna fight him for it. I think I'm gonna fight the waitress. I'm gonna fight the server. I'm gonna fight the bartender. Okay. I'm gonna fight everybody. I will say, in his defense, usually when we go out, out and have dinner, he usually pays. Like if we're going to grab something fast, I'll pay a lot. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no. You, you, and you do the groceries and whatnot. So this is a, not a one like super one-sided relationship, in my opinion. No, but hold on. Camera's about to die. Is it? Hold on. We'll be back. How you work this thing? Okay. Got a new battery in there, boys. All right, next question. Do we sleep with the door open or the door closed? This, is, this goes both ways. All right, so in the winter, we sleep with every door in the house closed. Yes. Um, in the summer, we're gonna be sleeping with the doors open and windows open. I was thinking of different, differently, actually. And then for the reason why she's thinking of, when Carson's here, the door is closed. No, the door's open. Door's closed, and then it gets cracked. And then when Carson is not here... It's closed. It's closed. I personally, like, no, I don't like the door open. It just makes me feel like someone's gonna be, like, peeking in the door in the middle of the night and just be like, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna see somebody in the corner in the door. That's why I don't like the closet door open either. No, it's up. I don't like it. Anyways. That would suck. What if you just woke up and somebody was just peeking in the crack of the door? Are we couch potatoes or fitness friends? Can I be both? <laughs> I we say. literally, <laughs> in, the, in the middle of the intermission, I literally said, hey, are you sure you still want to go to the gym tonight? And I said yes. Two types of people in this world. <laughs> I'm trying to go to Waffle House. She's trying to get to the gym. We, I really like going to the gym. I mean, I support your, your dreams. I support I, your dreams. We go to the gym weeks that we don't have cars we go pretty much every day. Then the weeks that we do, I go on my lunch breaks and then he just does his thing after work. I actually go twice. You do, you're a baller. I do go twice. I don't got it in me. I like it. Yeah, it's I good just, for the mind. Very good for the mind. It's great for the mind. Yep. All so right, great. this is a funny one. Toilet paper over or under? You answer this one. Under. Definitely under. Under. Definitely under. All right, babe. Look All right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. So with that being said, what? How do you wipe your butt when you poop? No, uh, you don't poop. Pretty girls don't poop. All right. So when you poop, <laughs> how do you wipe your butt? Do you go underneath? Do you hover? Do you stand up? I stand up and bend over. You stand up and bend over when you wipe your butt. <laughs> what about when you're like? A public, like, bathroom. I don't sit on the toilet. So you don't wipe your butt either? I just be hovering. So I just be bent over. That's so why my back's always hurting. <laughs> well, I was not expecting that answer. You don't just right. sit on the toilet right. in public. Next, gross. Next question. All right, do we go based off of looks or personality? Personality. Both. You're beautiful. <laughs> And he's funny. Actually, like, true story, when I first, like, saw him, the first time I saw him was on TikTok. I genuinely, genuinely was like, oh, he's cute. But it was his personality, 1,000%. You 
You cannot sit here and lie and say that the reason you swiped up on my Instagram story was because of my personality. <laughs> You're in that bikini looking <laughs> thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. And I was like, yo, that girl's pretty funny. That, that girl's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> okay. I was like, she seems like the kind of girl that would hang out with the homies. All right, last question. Clean as you go or clean at the end? So I'm guessing we're talking about cooking or we're we just talking about like, in general. In general. Because like, I mean, I can go both ways. I try both ways. You're a big person. She's very big on cleaning as you cook and cleaning as you go. Like with Carson, I try my best to clean as we go within reason. But of course, kid's about to be three years old. That usually doesn't work out. We're both pretty like clean people. Like I don't like we don't like hold stuff on, laying on, all hold over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna snitch on myself right now. If there's a place and I know the place for everything, for the most part, I'm a pretty clean person, pretty clean and organized. But like if there's no place for it, hey, I know what it is. Throwing stuff all over the place and it drives me crazy. Dave, I'm a baller. She's talking about the laundry basket, bro. I'm a baller. No, I'm talking about I have about all of like, my underwear and I be balling and sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. Or it's like when he comes from the office and brings his stuff that he's had all week, he just sets it on the counter with the trash and the food and everything in the bowl. Like, why didn't you just throw the trash away, throw the food away, and then put the bowl in the sink? Or when you bring your tea down, why don't you just go throw your tea bag away and then set the cup on the sink? Alright, so this was like a questionnaire. It's not like a pick out all of Brian's flaws and pick them out for the YouTube to distinguish which one is just which flaw and know. which personality type. We are. Each flaw. This is a real couple. We're a rail. Rail? Rail. Rail? They even get on my nerves. They get on your nerves? Never. <laughs> Good answer. Stop. Play rock, paper, scissors? Just to close it out, that was the last one. That was the last one. This is your opportunity to redeem yourself from the Q&A. From the Q&A? That was weeks ago, bro. Doesn't People matter. already forgot about lost. that. Go watch right. it. He lost. It was bad. I did not lose. It was bad. All right. You want to do one or two out of best two out of three? Best three out of five. Three out of five? Best three out of five. All right. I'll let you win. Let's go. All right. All right. So we are back at the Rock, Paper, Scissors Championship 2022. Where we I, have... hold the, I hold the title. We have the self-proclaimed champion, self Katie Martin. And we have the true, well-known, and always known champion, Brian Young Kal El Poe. Young Kal El Poe. Young Kal El Poe. Why did I get right. anything cool in my name? Cause you're what? <laughs> that guy across the street probably heard you. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a story time. So we have this kid that lives behind us and he's like in his bedroom playing freaking video games and he's got his bedroom window open. He's just screaming. Like if you it's guys loud. if you guys remember like the greatest freak out of all time on YouTube. Where what, the like dude shoves the remote up his butt or tries to doesn't probably go up there. Yeah, um in his bedroom with the blankets. Yeah, that was a fun time. Good times. It's or, annoying. Anyways, let's right. go. Ready on your mark, racers. Get your weapons ready. You're doing too much. All right. You ready? Move your hand. Ready? That's three out of five. That's yeah, it. Keep your hand up so people can see. Three out of five. Ready? Three out of five. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Bah! 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 <laughs> I hate it when you do that. What color is your shirt? Blue. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Let's go! <laughs> We're tied. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> you didn't even do it all the way, you cheat ass. <laughs> cheat ass. Ow! I'm about to drop an elbow on your hand. You hit me with your ring. She's lucky you didn't hit you with this one. Well, this I don't have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm posting this tonight. No. <laughs> okay, wait. What? Right, one I'm to one. Gonna... No, it's one to one. All right. Ready? Stop hitting me, that hurt. I'm sorry. You should be. I just want to let you know what real losses feel like. It hurt. Aw. Let's go. Boo, get out. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, go. Rock, paper, scissors, go. <laughs> I gotta get one more. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Oh, God, dang it. <laughs> Why'd she look at her hand like she didn't know what she chose? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Bonnet. Bonnet. <laughs> ah! Just let you know, that means that we're tied 
We're tied. No, we're not tied. We're tied. I already we're not tied. I won. We're not tied. <laughs> I won. And now you won, so you owe me one more game in the next video. And then you can call yourself a winner. You're a loser. I won. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Would you rather with Katie and Brian, or as she calls it, this or that? So, you can get with this, or you can get with that. Now nah, we're both out the market, don't play them games. Alright guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and the bell icon is right there. No, don't sure it's over forget there. to drop some comments. Yes, we want to do another Q&A. Are you team Katie or are you team Brian? That's the real question. Pretty sure you should be... Choose carefully. Choose carefully. Was that a threat? Did you just threaten my friends? These are my friends. These are our friends. You need to get better at this. You need to get better at this. Hashtag Team Brian. We're out. <laughs>